question number three. So let's take the derivative y equals 4x cubed plus x squared minus 5 to the power of 7. And we need to identify the outer function and the inner function. So we want to figure out what f of x and g of x are. So starting with g of x, what is our inner function? The inner function in this case would be just this. The 4x cubed plus x squared minus 5. Great. And what about our outer function? Well, that will be simple, won't it? Yes. It will be just x to the 7. So f of x, actually I'll write it down here, it will be x to the power of 7. That way, f of g of x will be what we have there. 4x cubed plus x squared minus 5 to the power of 7. Because for f of g of x, we're just replacing this x for all of g which is 4x cubed plus x squared minus 5. Fantastic. Let me just quickly erase this. All right, let's continue. So now what is y prime of this? It would be just f prime of g times g prime. All right, so what is the first step of the chain rule? Well, let's just find out f prime of g of x. And what is f prime of x? Well, let's just take the derivative of x to the power of 7. So I can bring down the 7. So I get x, sorry, 7 times x to the power of 6. So just subtract 1 from 7. After bringing it down right there, that's it. But we're interested in f prime of g of x. So f prime of g of x. And our g of x is all of this. So we're going to have, we're going to run out of room here. 7 times all of 4x cubed plus x squared minus 5, all to the power of 6. So that's f prime of g of x. Great. Then we multiply all of this, right, by g prime of x. And what is g prime of x? Well, the derivative of g, the derivative of this will be 4 times 3 is 12. Then we subtract 1 from the 3, so we get 12x squared. The derivative of x squared is just 2x, because I bring down the 2 and multiply by the x. Then I subtract 1 from the exponent. And the derivative of the constant, which is negative 5, is just 0. So we don't need to write it down. Great. So we have f prime of g, and we can multiply it by g prime to get all of the answer. So y prime will be 7 4x cubed plus x squared minus 5 to the power of 6 times g prime, which is just 12x squared plus 2x. And that's it. The chain rule is complete.